But there's the field for Heat 8. Atani from South Australia, Fearless Quick from Victoria, King Tolliver from New South Wales, Society Guy from South Australia, Tupika Star from Victoria, Will Adios from New South Wales, and the appropriate records underneath. The South Australian record, 1 minute 57 seconds. The Australian record, 1 minute 54.5 seconds, held by the, pop the injured popular arm. Well, the horses are down on the track, so let's go down and have a look at them. The score up is in the main straight here at Globe Derby Park, and the dispatch point, as you uh, saw and heard Fred Kersley talking about, is at the turn out of the main straight. Now, we'll see if we can go in and pick up a couple of these uh, horses. There you see number five, Tuapika Star, the only mare in this field, and one of only two mares in the entire championship. She's run a mile in 1 minute 59, but that was a, a three-year-old back in uh, 1980, and she's missed the best part of the last two seasons with a virus. The mare's record, incidentally, in Australia is 1 minute 56.8. That was number five, Tuapika Star. Number four, Society Guy, won a heat of the Inter-Dominions in Perth in 1982, and in that race, defeated Popular Arm, was a finalist that year. Uh, now trained down at Victor Harbour. Number three alongside Society Guy is King Tolliver from New South Wales. And as the horses start to move off behind the mobile, we'll join our race commentator, George Grilusic. And from the inside, it's Atani, Phyllis Quick, King Tolliver, Society Guy, Tua Pika Star and Will Adios on the extreme outside. Now they go towards the mile start, about 10 metres before it now, and stand by for the blue light, we've got it now. Now Natani on the inside has made the best beginning, and Fearless Quick got away quickly, and going up quickly, Society Guy, King Tolliver dropped in behind him onto the rail. Moving up around that horse is Tio Pika Star, and two lengths further back behind him is Will Adios. Down the back straight they go the first time, and it's uh, Otani in front, Otani the leader, started from the pole position and had the advantage of the draw and leads by a length and a half. Society Guy second on the outside and the neck back on the inside is Fearless Quick. Uh, they were followed on the outside by Tua Pika Star, King Tolliver next and Will Adios is last as they go past the first quarter in approximately 31 seconds. So it's just a muddling pace in the early part of the race and Otani still shows the way from Society Guy second. On the inside is Fearless Quick and uh, moving up on the outside Tua Pika star, she's getting a charmed run, King Tolliver's back second last on the inside and Will Adios is last. Those horses on the rails are going to need plenty of luck now as they get the bell and they come down towards the judge's box with one lap to go approaching the half mile point and with the reading there they go through the half mile now and 61.3 approximately and Otani the leader. Otani shows the way from Society Guy, Phyllis Quick is buried away on the inside and then Chil Peak is star. King Tolliver racing second last on the inside is going to need a ton of luck and last from the outside is Will Adios, only about a dozen metres off the leader. Past the 600 metre mark they go, Natani still in front by three quarters on Society Guy, and they're starting to sprint hard in front now. Chua Pika Star under the whip in third spot, followed back on the inside by Fearless Quick, then King Tolliver between horses, and Will Adios is three wide. They went through the three quarter in about 131, and still Atani defies running down. Atani by almost a length on Society Guy, Chua Pika Star, three wide around them, now running on quick now. Will Adios flying on the outside, and King Tolliver's on his back, and back on the inside side, further back behind him, Phyllis Quick can't get the run, 200 metres left to go, Atani the leader, the turn right across the track, Will Adios is flying on the outside, Atani in front with 100 metres to go, Will Adios won't catch him, neither will Phyllis Quick coming from the inside, and Atani wins it for South Australia, in second place on the outside, Will Adios from Phyllis Quick, followed by Teal Peak Star, Society Guy is second last, and King Tolliver is last to finish. And so Atani from South Australia takes out the eighth qualifying division. Atani unofficially in two minutes and five tenths of a second was allowed to dictate the terms. And that's the second South Australian horse that has come through here at uh, Globe Derby Park tonight. Two minutes and five tenths of a second. Atani driven by Jim Hurley from South Australia. A brother of Eric Hurley who won the 1964 into Dominion at the Melbourne Showgrounds with Minutemen. There you see uh, Jim Hurley behind the number one Atani registering another victory in these heats tonight for South Australia and Jim Hurley's played a very prominent role in tonight's pacing as you will see when we go back through the replays once we get uh, the results from this particular race. And here's the concluding stages of that race. A very strong performance by Atani, led for the best part of the race, and it really wasn't ever under threat, although Will Adios, number six, coming down the outside, put in his customary strong finish. We saw him finish very strongly on Saturday night and finished third, but uh, he was unable to run down Atani again tonight. And with the other horse that will uh, figure in the finish 
is a fearless quick number two from Victoria. But Jim Hurley, driving a very cool and confident race behind Atani, had the rails all the way, started from the pole position and went on to score a very comfortable win and was being eased down on the line to give South Australia a good result in the eighth qualifying division of the Inter-Dominion Championship. And there you see the results of the eighth qualifying division. Number one, Atani from South Australia, driven by Jim Hurley. Second was number six, Will, Ad Will Adios from New South Wales. And it's a photo for third, although it did look as though number two, Fearless Quick from uh, Victoria, would get the decision in that photo.